Hey guys, Rockstoom here. Today we're going to be covering the Dead Cells 1.5 speedrun build. Uh, Blargle recommended this build, so big shout out to him as it became a pretty solid build and was received pretty well. Uh, it was brought up that we should have a video on the new build, so this will hopefully serve to cover that. And let's get into it. Alright guys, we're going to get into the build now. So if we go to play and go to custom mode, we can take a look at the, the build right here. We're going to have Hakuto's Bow, which applies an on-hit effect where we do bonus damage. We have Assault Shield as we always do in the speedrun. Corrupted Power, which will help us keep up our multi-kill speed boost, um, as well as apply affixes. And then our Syringe, which is our main damage source in the run. Um, it's going to be an on-hit type of build, basically, and uh, a fix-based build. Um, for mutations, we're going to be taking Open Wounds and definitely velocity as we always do in the speedrun. The third option can be yours really. Uh, Masochist is a decent option I think as well as Vengeance might be. Um, I have Vengeance on just in case I get a two or a four times damage run so if I feel like I might be get taking a lot of hits we can throw Vengeance on and that way I can hopefully survive through some of the fights if I'm going to be taking four times damage or double damage might be might be a nice benefit to have that available to you it doesn't mess with the menuing i believe so that's great and we can launch up the game here <clears throat> and that and i do have a video on how to set up for the speed run um just in general and you can go watch that video if you're interested that'll cover that information i didn't get too much into how you set up a speed run file basically but um, it's not that hard, and the rules explain it pretty well on speedrun.com, so if you want to check that out, feel free. Um, so one major thing about this build is we actually do have to collect cells throughout the run, at least for now. And I'll get into that a little bit later. At the end of the video, I'll probably cover this inform the additional information there. Luckily, I've found that with good management, you only have to collect one time door, um, which we would probably get at the end of prison quarters. Or going into promenade um, so that's really nice we were getting two but if you don't overuse your syringe you won't need to um, so let's cover the build a little bit Hakuto's bow is like I said it's just an on hit effect basically every time you hit an enemy you'll be doing both bonus damage to that enemy when you mark them and you mark them for 20 seconds so once you shoot something it's pretty much marked till you'll kill it we have corrupted power this corrupted power um, has the electrocute effect on nearby enemies for eight seconds that pretty much helps us keep up our multi-kill speed buff um, so that'll be your main source of damage going through levels you'll just corrupted power and you'll just continue running and our syringe here is our main damage source for the boss fights um, so the way syringe works is you press it and it'll do a spin and you can extend that duration and power it up with cells um, I don't have any cells right now, so I can only do one spin. You can do a spin without any cells, but the, typically the first spin will take one cell, the second would take the second application of it would take two and three and so on until you hit five. Once you hit five, you're maxed out, and using the syringe again will take five, and it will increase the duration. So once you get to five, that'll be that'll be 15 cells, and you just want to stop there for all the boss fights. If you overuse the syringe during the boss fights, if you just spam it you'll burn through all your cells. So um, when you go through either prison quarters or promenade, you'll be grabbing a time door. I want to cover this because it is possible to keep the multi-kill speed buff from prison quarters into promenade and then refresh it right at the beginning of promenade if you killed an enemy very close to you leaving prison quarters, which means you can skip the time door in prison quarters if you think you'll be able to keep that buff. If not, you'll probably just grab that time door. Um, so I'll go through prison quarters real quick. Got to do a reset. And what that does, what the time door does is it puts us at about 25 cells. Whichever one we collect will be around 25 cells. We only need 15, like I said, to max charge our syringe for, for concierge. So that leaves us with 10 additional ones. And we only need 15. We only need 15 then for timekeeper which is the next boss and timekeeper will allow us to refill our our cells at the boss because the door doesn't open right away it takes about two seconds so you can collect the cells from timekeeper which will give you about the 15 you need for for uh the hand of the king if 
if you did not have 15 that's okay because what you'll what you'll have is um the elites in castle actually drop i'd say probably 20 cells or so so you could use one or two charges on the syringe about you know three cells or so and you'll get like six to ten back probably from the elite so if you don't have 15 going into castle you'll get it from the elites in castle which is fine so here i am at the exit we'll go through here and i obviously i didn't kill anything too recently so this one i would probably just collect it at prison quarters because this buff is going to end you'll see it's going to start timing out here in a second right here and that door only that only that door only takes you three seconds so it's unlikely that i would have kept velocity here and so i would grab this door alternatively when we get to the end of promenade you could grab the time door there. It's easier to keep the multi-kill then because we have velocity, which triples the duration of it. Um, you could grab the time door there and then go into ramparts and hopefully you'll be able to keep it from there. If you think you were poss if, if you think you could possibly keep it from prison quarters, you can always go for that. But otherwise, just grab that time door and that's the only one you'll grab. You can see I have 27 cells, which might be a little bit more than normal. I'm not sure if I had collected a little bit more in prison quarters than I typically do. But I have 27 already, right? And I only need 15 for um, for the concierge. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do five charges on the syringe, and you'll see my cells. So one, two, three, four, five. So we went from 27 to only 18. Oh, sorry, there's five. We went from 27 to 13. We might have been. We might add 28. And this is the full charge. You can see it's a nice blue color. It's it's nice and full. Um, and this is the full charge. This is when you would stop. You don't want to use any more than this. And this will be plenty to kill the boss. You'll see, like, you can just shred through enemies with this. So that's where you would stop. You wouldn't you wouldn't use any more cells at that point. Um, if you spammed it, if you spammed it out, you'll just burn through all your cells. But if you manage it, you'll see that I already have, I already have 15 almost, which would be enough for Timekeeper. And we still have... We still have ramparts to collect cells. We still have stilt to collect cells. We still have towers to collect cells all before timekeeper. So we'll have plenty. We'll have plenty for that boss. Again, you would use five, hopefully there, just to make sure you're not spamming out all your cells. And then you'll have you'll have some left over to charge up, you know, maybe just a one or two. Like this should be enough. Maybe three. Two to three charges is plenty to kill the elites in tower in castle. And those elites also drop a nice chunk of cells, probably six to ten, roughly, I'd say. So those will, if you're not at fifteen, those will help you get get to fifteen, so you're ready for Hand of the King's fight. All right, guys, and that's how you're gonna manage the cells throughout the run. Um, I do want to mention, like I said earlier, that we we may not need to do the door at all at some point. We may be implementing that you can bring cells from a previous run. And we'll probably have the, that we set the file to read only, allowing you to always have those cells, which would eliminate the need to go into a door. I'm not sure if that'll be how we do the run or not, but either way, this is very viable to do in the current state. Um, it will only lose you about three seconds to go into the time door. So um, either way, you can compete easily with or without the cells at the start. So um, if you guys want to feel free to check out a run, try it yourself. Um, feel free, if you're going to record it, submit it on the leaderboards and we'll verify it and you'll see where you get placed. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have a moment and you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and maybe leave me a comment. Any feedback is good. Um, and check me out on Twitch, definitely. I've been streaming some runs this week. i um, got a 648 myself. Um, so twitch.tv slash rocksdoom, head on over there. I stream five days a week, so go check me out there if you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. Hope you have, guys have a great day. And thanks for watching.